Hey guys, had a few questions about how to exactly set up a uh, fast and friendly brass shell plate. It's pretty darn simple. Uh, <clears throat> you're simply going to you know install your shell plate, put your nut on there, leave it a little loose, and stick your feeler gauge in right there where the cases come out. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of play. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so we'll just go ahead and. Get it close. Sorry for the mess on the bench. We do more than develop tools, we actually process brass, believe it or not. And now we're starting to get close. We're real close. So I'm just going to insert the feeler gauge just barely underneath it. And once I've got it barely underneath it, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up that shell plate and it's stopped. So the feeler gauge will actually hang there when it's tight. And you might get a little more tightness out of it, that's fine. You know, just tighten it down finger tight. Go ahead and grab your handy dandy Allen wrench. Give her a little twist. Doesn't have to be over tight, it's just a snug, snugging measure. And then once you're all said and done, Pull out your feeler gauge. What you'll have is a perfectly set up shell plate. Now, I've also had people ask me, what's a feeler gauge? Well, a feeler gauge, for those of you that are not mechanically inclined or have never used one, is a set of thin piece of metal strips. And these metal strips are going to be labeled by the thousands. You want to make sure, if I get it here, eh, it probably won't be able to see it. You want to make sure that you get a feeler gauge set that includes 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 thousandths which are the tolerances for which the shell plate was designed. You're going to be able to find uh, feeler gauges at Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Sears. Sears is probably going to have the one of the better ones out there as far as having all of the different gauge sets. Um, any parts store, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, they're going to have lower end junk. Um, and then of course for all you ballers with the Mark 7 auto drives, uh, you're going to be looking for your local snap-on truck or Matco tool truck. Uh, that way you can have the uh, double throw-down magnum gold-plated uh, feeler gauge set. So anyway, enough rambling. That's how to set it up. It's real simple. Have a good one. Bye.